What's good everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make extended edits in Ableton. The first thing you're going to do is find a song that you want to extend. For this, I'm just going to be using Fred Again's Kami, like I do, as an example. You can use this website to download the audio. Then, I'll look up the BPM of the track so that I can properly make edits. This song has a tempo of 132, so now when we go to Ableton, we will set our tempo to this. Now that we have Ableton open, let's set the BPM to the one we found on the website, which is 132. Now, once our track is in the channel, we have to make sure that the first beat lines up with the grid in Ableton. This is going to make our edits much easier to make. But we want the first kick to be perfectly on the grid. That way the rest of the song will also be on. Be on. So I'm just going to drag this over. And what we're looking for is really the start of the kick. Cool. And now that that's on the grid, everything else should be perfectly lined up. So if we go here, we can see that the kick is perfectly on as well. You want to make edits in bridge sections so that it sounds a lot more natural. So in our example, I took this section. <laughs> and merged it with this part. And now if we just cut the top track, this is it together. And now we just need to find one more edit point and we will have a version of the track that's almost two times the original length. We're just going to put the intro over the outro with a little bit of a fade, and this is going to make it seem like this was the intention of the artist. If your transition sections, like here, aren't sounding right, you should check your grid. In my example, I landed kicks up perfectly and got the right tempo, which is why I don't have that issue. That's it guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, watch another one of my videos. <laughs>